Hello students, welcome to Shora Fresh classes. Welcome to Shora Fresh classes. So in our today's video, we are going to discuss some past year questions. In our video, we are going to discuss some past year questions from uh, you know uh, IIT Jam Geology paper. So geology is a very demanding subject nowadays. So very uh, a lot of students appear for this exam. So here at Sharp Science classes, we came with uh, your help for your help. You know, we came with uh, some past year questions with. Full solution, and not only that, we'll explain it to you step by step. So explanations also there. So everything you'll be getting in this video, whatever you'll be needing for cracking this exam, for clearing this exam, this competitive exam is very severe exam. So for clearing this exam, you whatever you need, everything you'll be getting in this video here at Sauces classes. Okay, so let's start this video. So uh, first question is on your screens now. When plotted on a map of one is to fifty thousand scale. A two kilometers long dike exposed on a horizontal surface has a length of dash centimeter and answer in one place. So this is not an MCQ, this is a numerical part question. So let's solve this question. So given the map scale has been given to be 1 h to 50,000. So this is the map scale. So 50,000 kilometers in real is equal to one uh, you know, unit in uh, the map. Okay. That is one centimeter in map is equal to fifty thousand centimeter in actual. This is the relation between map and the actual thing. Okay, so fifty thousand centimeter is equal to five hundred meters, and five hundred meters is equal to zero point five kilometers. That means one centimeter on map is equal to point five kilometers on in real. So hence dike given dike. is exposed on a horizontal surface has a length of what so dike has been exposed on a has been exposed on a horizontal surface okay and has a length of that is length of map that is equal to 2 by 0 0.5 kilometers that is equal to 4 centimeter because 2 kilometers already given so the correct answer is 4 centimeter to this question let's move to next question so the next question is on your screens now attitudes of beds in sequences a that is younger and b that is older separated by an unconformity uu are given in the following sectional view so what is the view the view is over here so if uu that is this this was horizontal so if it would be horizontal when sequence a was deposited this a was deposited at the deep amount of beds in sequence b as the time was dash so answer in one place so let's solve this question so both bed both beds strike is same when separation of UU by unconformity unconformity sequence A and B so when sequence A was deposited the deep amount of the beds the deep amount of the beds in sequence B at that time was total equal to deep amount of A amount of A plus deep amount of B that is equal to if you see here 
this is 20 degree and this is 30 degree so we can write it will be equal to 20 degree plus 30 degree that is equal to 50 degree so the correct answer will be 50 degree so let's move to next question the next question is the number of alpha particles emitted to produce a daughter isotope of 206 lead from a parent isotope of 238 uranium by radioactive decay is what so it's given daughter isotope equal to 206 lead parent isotope equal to 238 uranium the one alpha particles emitted equal to 2HE4 and difference in atomic weight will be equal to 238 minus 206 that is equal to 32 so what will the radioactive decay radioactive decay will be Thirty two by four that is equal to eight. Okay, so let's move to next question. So the next question is on your screens now. The dip slip on a fault of zero 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 degree thirty degree east is ten meter. Assuming slip equals separation here, the throw on the fault is dash meter and so in one decimal place. So it's given the dip slip on fault is equal to zero 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 degree celsius the dip direction is equal to 30 degree east the dip slip will be equal to 10 meters so the throw of the fault throw of the fault that is sine 30 okay we know that it is of sine theta that is equal to throw by 10 that is equal to throw by 10 so sine 30 is, 30 is half equal to throw by 10 so throw will be equal to 50 meter 5.0 sorry 5.0 meter okay so the correct answer will be 5.0 meter let's move to next question the next question is on your screens now assuming the earth to be an ideal sphere the volume percentage of the core relative to the total volume of earth is dash answer in one decimal place so this is also an interesting question so total volume of earth equal to 14 to 18 percent so assumed earth is idle sphere idle sphere okay radius of earth 6371 kilometers radius of core one two double zero kilometers so formula of volume sphere will be what formula of volume of sphere will be what this is very basic thing you must know this is four by three pi r cube so it will be percentage of volume sphere would be it can be written as 4 by 3 pi r cube for core and 4 by 3 pi r cube for earth so it will be 4 by 3 pi cube into 1200 cube not pi cube 4 by 3 pi 6371 cube so it will be equal to 18% okay so let's move to next question 
the next question is on space now based on eight oxygen atoms the number of silicon atoms in plague place of composition of ab20 and it is what so given composition is ab20 an80 then on basis of eight oxygen atom theory oxygen atom theory number of silicon atoms number of silicon atoms in plagueuclis in plagueuclis of given composition comes given composition comes out to be 2.2 so the correct value will be 2.2 Let's move to next question. Six hundred tons of low-grade iron, that is forty percent iron, are blended with four hundred tons of high-grade iron, that is sixty-five percent ferrous. The grade of the blended ore is what percentage of iron? So let's solve this question. So forty percent iron in low-grade iron ore. Will be equal to six hundred into forty by hundred. That is two hundred forty tons. Okay, sixty-five percent iron in high-grade iron ore will be equal to four hundred into sixty-five by hundred. If we cancel it, it will be equal to two hundred and sixty tons. So, total iron will be two sixty plus two forty tons. That is equal to five hundred tons. So, percentage of ferrous will be five hundred by thousand into hundred. That is equal to fifty percent. So value will be fifty percent. Okay. Well, we have discussed a lot of questions of uh, IIT jam, you know, geology paper, and I hope that you all you all understood this. But still, if you have any doubt regarding this, then you are have any doubts or queries, then you can call us or you can WhatsApp us any time at this number nine eight three six seven nine three. 076 or you can visit our website www.sorofsersclasses.com and for further information regarding sorofsers classes visit this website and for watching this video a lot of thanks from my side thank you students